footsteps of the ancient Kanda, Sudanese women were once again on the front line during the Sudan uprising in 2008. In Sudan time, Under tear gas, under clashing coal. casa, especialmente mi pai, lo que quería era que tuviera menos. Si voy yo a pedir plaza a otro barco, pues igual se ríen de mí, en plan, pero tú, ¿a dónde vas? Que eres una mujer. Los hombres te decían, vete para casa, que tú donde tienes que estar es en la cocina. Cuando vendieron un barco, dijo ya mi irmán, y dijo yo, papá, ¿por qué no me preguntas a mí si yo quiero barco? Y dijo, me te dedica a tu tiempo, dedica a tocar a pandereta, a un hombre para casar. Nosotros tuvimos un marinero que, bueno, lo típico, que eres una mujer, si tú estás mandando, yo aquí no vengo. Y... Mucha gente no sabe cómo se coge el percebe y cuando salen imágenes están los hombres. Mi nombre es Tommy, soy percebeira en Galicia. Soy Mari León, soy patrón polivalente, trabajo en un barco de cerco. Soy Jackie, soy mariscadora. If you were told you had more chance of being hit by a meteorite than achieving your dream, would you pursue it? This is the damning statistic facing boys currently playing in professional football academies across England who aim to make it to the promised land of the Premier League. But when you're doing the thing you love most and you think you can see the finish line, how can you not dare to dream? I guess as a kid, you don't really understand the gravity of the matter. It's given me a mindset that I've always kept, which is you can be released or dropped at any moment. Just play without fear.
This is a 24-hour recording test. You can do anything in front of the camera. Such as... Such as laughing. <laughs> Talking, dancing. Your story. But don't touch it. Don't touch it. The camera. The camera. I'm going to say hi. Oh, you're not allowed to touch it. Or the police will come. Such a good idea. <laughs> is that actually film? Yes, yeah, guys. <laughs> Istanbul. Büyük şehir İstanbul. Sulu Kule. Evim, ailem, arkadaşlarım, mutluluk, huzur, neşe. Birlik, beraberlik, hüzün. I was out every night and I was drunk all the time. I wasn't mentally prepared in my head of many issues to become a parent. Yeah, it was a moment where we just met each other and yeah, just the best experience I've ever had. It's a stereotype that having a baby will affect your social life, affect your freedom, whatever lifestyle, but I don't believe this. From in bulimia, eating disorders. We realized we had some fertility issues. perfect mother, perfect wife. It's actually really scary how many women that you know that go through it and don't speak up.
Without dark matter, there would be no galaxies, there would be no stars, there would be no planets, there would be no people. So whatever the dark matter is, we ought to be grateful. We wouldn't be here without it. There is a race to register the impact of a dark matter particle on a detector. So it could be a, a Nobel Prize worthy discovery is just around the corner. But I think the question is, what if we don't find it? Some people would say, well, well, it's not there. You've got to be ready to admit that everything you've done to this day is wrong. Sometimes you're just waiting for one piece to complete the picture. What is dark matter? Well, I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you what it is. Biz kadınlar, Karadeniz kadınları. Sırtımızda çok yük taşıyoruz. Ama güçlüyüz. Sandığımızdan çok daha güçlüyüz. Ve gün geçtikçe bu gücün farkına varıyoruz. Bazımız için kadın emeği, toprağına sahip çıkmak, doğayı sevmek, aileyi sevmek ve onlarla sevgiyle ilgilenmek. Bazımız için kendimize yeni bir hayat kurmak, başarı elde etmek, şehre yerleşmek 
kadın rollerini reddetmek ve bu yaşanmışlıkların hepsini Rize'de anlatmak. Bazımız içinse kadın emeği çay tarlalarıyla iç içe yaşayıp özelleşen sektöre karşı haklarını savunmak, olduğu mücadele içinde kendine yer açıp etrafında fark yaratmak. Bu hikayelerin hepsi sizce bir bardak çayla anlatılabilir mi? The lockdown was like necessary to get Grove to where it is now. Everyone got put on furlough. No one could go to work. Everyone was getting paid. It's like fuck. We can just like spend all our money on cement. Like the only shops that are open are B and Q anyway. We can't spend our money on anything else. I can't go drinking. Let's go have a couple tinnies and build like a ramp. You'd come past and you'd see like squatters in the windows. Like it's been boarded up for as long, almost as long as I can remember. So I'm surprised it actually took so long to become a DIY because it is quite perfect for it. I had no idea what what it means to be a skater. I just saw a physical board and then yep. thought. Yeah, I can maybe push around to do calorie burn, but then I had no idea if you turn up on the skate spot on a regular basis that people might recognize you. They can't do that. It's not uh, fair. I love children's books, like a lot of kids when you're younger. And I used to, um, I used to love going through, you know, all the pictures. Um, I used to draw a lot. Um, I used to make my own hats as well out of paper. But I didn't realize it was a job that you could do until I was a lot older. I, I, I always been quite an activist and feminist. So I was impressed by her work. And I used to think that if I have a daughter one day, I'll name her after Erin Pitsis. And it's amazing, really, that Erin has become quite um, a strong and passionate feminist, and this is reflected in a lot of her work. I've, I've discovered, I think, James Joyce when I was quite young, when I was about possibly 15, 16. Well, I think it was 1985-86 I decided to come and learn English. I only came for a, for a year, and I was going to learn English, good enough to read Ulysses and then go back, uh, but I ended up staying here. That's supposed to be my mom and that's me and my brother because she was always taking us to protest marches when we were little. 